At any point, anybody in this chat could tell me. They favorite moment. Not uh, favorite. A moment where you felt like, when we cut the other shit, right? You feel like you're American. You live in America. You had an opportunity or a blessing bestowed upon you that was outrageous. Yeah, that Don King shit only in America, baby. The come up. The blessing. I could be in prison for the rest of my life. Not just saying it literally. All I had to do was go to trial. Can you find that in your life? What's the thing in your life where it could have been like this, but it turned out like this? What is that thing? It could be something you might feel like you're grateful for. Only in America, baby. I like for things to be fair. And from what I know, America one of the fairest places. And it ain't fair. <laughs> what? America is one of the fairest places I could think of. And it ain't fair. Y'all think the People's Republic of China fair? You think Russia fair? You think Ukraine fair? You think Palestine or Israel is fair? Australia, England, Scotland, Canada. Where is it fair at? Where is the place that somebody don't have a complaint? I wonder. Where is the place where somebody ain't on some bullshit at? Take me there. When I was doing all that time in prison, <laughs> I do take out inside my mind a lot. One of my reoccurring thoughts consistently was getting out and having a family. Getting out and like figuring out love. Experiencing love, having love. I didn't want to be a rapper or a podcast. None of that shit. I guess I don't know that shit even really existed, maybe like. Well, I mean rapping is a cause, but like streaming and all this, being on Twitch. None of that type of shit existed in my brain. Social media wasn't even a real thing for me. Just being happy. Just being comfortable. Just having a family. Just having the opportunity to change and be a different person and not be judged in a particular way. None of that shit happened. A whole bunch more heartache and pain and tragedy took place. A whole bunch more shit that I could never get over. I'm not bitter about shit. I'm not even really angry. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed at 
America a lot of times. Like, that, that land of second chance is an opportunity. Sometimes I feel stupid or idiotic for being disappointed because it's like, wait a minute. Did anybody say that this was a land without humans on it? Because you know how humans is. All across the motherfucking globe, humans is similar. Humans lie? Who the fuck said this was a land where you might not get told a lie? Who told you it was fit? In fact, has anybody ever told you that America was a uh, meritocracy? Fuck told you that. Who told you that America was a meritocracy, gang? That based off your skills and your merits and what you might be feeling like you deserve or even deserve, you gonna get. Who told you that shit? Who told you if you give somebody sincere love, they gonna give it back to you? Who told you if you get wrong, you was going to get justice? Who in the fuck laid that lie upon you? At some point, we all might be thinking like this, right? As Americans or some shit, we all might be thinking like this. And as a black man that went through so much shit, how could I even think this way? I'm not talking to stupid people. Whether you black, white, Chinese, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to talk to dumb people no more. It don't got to be fair for me to choose up and say, I'm done with talking to dumb, stupid niggas that don't even deserve to have an opinion or a voice or a word or a fuck ideology. You don't even deserve ideology. Almost burnt my motherfucking finger. Magic did say I was intoxicated, but I'm not. Damn it. It's my last drink. Fuck that. We look around the world at the politics of others. And we say, that's crazy. We look how others go to war and we be like, that's crazy. And we be like, damn, how long have we actually been in some kind of war or conflict? Even when we think we ain't in conflict, we find out that niggas was running some conflictual shit. Conflictual is what I don't know. If I just made conflictual war, you fucking get it. Behind the scenes where you didn't know, they was running the operation on the operation in another nation. When you thought it was peace, the beast was out. But welcome to the world, baby. Not just America. If you listen to this right now, you human. I don't expect that a bunch of crocodiles is laying on the side of the now or watching me on Twitch. Not even gorillas or chimps or any kind of other primate. I assume it's humans watching. I assume it's humans that enjoy me. And you know how it is to be human. To go through the grit and the grind every day of being human. Let me ask you this. When you think about death, not dying of cancer or old age or heart attack, when you're thinking about being killed, is your first thought?
that some animal might kill you? A giraffe? A lion? A grizzly bear? Ninety percent of that shit might be other humans. When you think about getting betrayed, getting crossed, getting fucked over, you think about humans. You might want to run from it. You might want to find somewhere better where shit make more sense. But you're gonna run into fucking humans again. You gonna go to Mexico? You gonna run into humans? You gonna go to Canada? You gonna run into humans? You gonna go anywhere in Europe, Asia, wherever the fuck you go? You gonna run into humans? And they gonna be on that human shit. And then what you gonna do? What you gonna do when you meet the other girl and she influenced and got the same ideologies? And you like, damn, this bitch all the way from Sweden. And she acting like the bitches in Brooklyn. If you ever set your mind to be in fear, hey, yo, from this point on, I ain't going to disrespect my woman. I ain't going to cheat. I ain't going to do none of this shit. What about if motherfucker don't recognize that shit? She don't recognize that shit. Do you? Hey, you treat me good, but the same way. Well, shit, I'd have been the same person if you treated me bad, nigga. What about, you ever been in a situation you think that might change a person, don't you? You like, you know what? If I be fair, then this person would be fair with me, and then you be fair, and you be like, hold the fuck up. If I be a stand-up and genuine person, if I change, if I be different person to do it for me, then they don't, you like, hold the fuck up. What? Fuck going on here? This makes no sense to me, and it doesn't. But once again, who told you it was a meritocracy? Who told you that based off your merits, you might get treated a particular way? Good Lord. They lied to you, Jack. Told you shit that ain't make no motherfucking sense. We're trying to get that shit out of the way. My bad. They told you shit that couldn't happen. It wasn't going to fucking happen. Happened to me too. Just like anywhere else in the world. And believe it or not. More times. In most cases than a lot of places. Because some of those third world countries where everybody poor and living in huts. Somehow, some way, they got a higher happiness rate than us in America. They happiness rate per capita, per the person. How fucking happy are you in that hut? Sir, miss? We are very happy indeed. We are very happy indeed in our hut, man. Expectation. What you see before you. The land of opportunity. The streets paved with gold, baby. You can be whatever you put your mind to. All them years in prison, I ain't think about going home every day. Huh? Well, let me tell you the story, because I got sent this to 17 years, not you, so I could tell you about doing lots of time in prison, right? I ain't think about going home every single day. Ain't nobody go home on Saturdays and Sundays, so not one Saturday or Sunday did I ever think about going home. I thought about going home in the abstract, could I get some time knocked off if a new governor came in, would this happen to happen, but whether I was going to go home Monday, no, that didn't happen until 
right directly around the time when I could look at a piece of paper and say, hey, I'm supposed to go home on this date unless something crazy happens. Because I knew better. But when your expectations be at a certain fucking level. Unhappiness, heartbreak, pain. Motherfuckers. Because now you got the expectation. Yeah, somebody lied to you, Jack. Somebody told you ain't had to get lucky for shit. Hard work, discipline, dedication, sacrifice, you gonna win. That's all you need. Then you find out, wait. That might not be true. We look at the other country, be like, look at they criminal justice system. It's fucked up. They railroading people. And then you see the motherfucker wrongfully convicted and been in jail 20 years. And they find out at year 20 that he was wrongfully convicted. And he still don't get out to year 24. And you be like, where that was at? And they be like, that was in America. Where at? In every state. In any state. Wherever you could think of it at. Yeah, but those other countries is crazy. They be wilding. And then you find out that a nigga got put to death. He had the death penalty. He didn't do it. And they knew somebody had to go. He wasn't worth it. His life wasn't important. He wasn't going to do shit, no. You see a motherfucker deserve an opportunity, deserve a chance, deserve love, and be like, fuck that motherfucker. So many riches, so many fucking opportunities, and motherfuckers still be out here be poor. Homeless. Fucked up. Hmm. And it's America, baby. The land of opportunity where the streets is paved with gold. But we know the criminal justice system fucked up. We look, we be like, look at they politicians. They wildin'. Then we look at our politicians, we be like, whoa. We like, those politicians lying, running scams. And we look at our politicians, we be like, what the fuck? Name your sincere politician. Name them. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. If you Democrat, you be like, Barack Obama, you black, you Democrat, Barack Obama. What the fuck? Who the fuck? What? Yo, a lot of black people, you know what they know about Barack Obama. They be like, yo, he from Chicago and he black and I think his dad was white. Imagine he from Chicago, he black and I think his dad was white. Being enough for a nigga to be the president, your president, that made the motherfucker you big up and salute and shout out the most. Most black people got family members that beat those better, way better than those qualities. And the nigga just like, hey, fuck you. You don't even know a motherfucker track record. What a motherfucker agree with, what they don't agree with. What they did at this border, what they did at that border. With the drones, you don't know shit. You just in the support of a motherfucker. Because you feel like they in your camp. But nigga ain't in your motherfucking camp. Your camp is poor, hungry, and stressed the fuck out. You out here supporting the motherfuckers that 
that don't even know don't even know you exist. Motherfucker that won't even respond to your fucking comment. Motherfucker that's rich while you poor. The motherfucking bully while you the underdog. Because you think he like you. Welcome to America, baby. It's a land of second chances and opportunities and shit like that. But it's humans here in America. Same lousy, ugly, disgusting, despicable ass human. Stab you in the back. For a fucking dollar bill. Dirt bags. Fucking. We done got so. The best rappers ain't even the best. The best nothing is the best nothing. Nigga. Fucking with us. In America too. Yeah. Blame all the other countries. All these other. Yes, America is a great country. But if you don't see flaws, you have lost your mind. And guess what? I'm not really keen on dumb shit. I'm not keen on dumb shit, nigga. You know what's some dumb shit, right? Say you got two pedophiles. One pedophile raped an eight-year-old. One pedophile raped the 13-year-old. Which one y'all think is better? Neither fucking one of them. Nobody answer that. Neither one of them, right? How about you just don't do it? So when niggas get critical of, oh, look what they doing in Russia. Look at Putin. Oh, look at China. You bitch ass nigga. If you could, you'd make your fucking house China. If we gave you the power, you rub everybody out, nigga. Fuck make you better. Half the time, the only time a motherfucker follow rules is if it's consequences and repercussions hanging right over their head. Outside of that, a motherfucker do anything to you. A motherfucker's son will kill his mother. A motherfucker daughter will kill a father. For a fucking dollar bill. You fuck around, give all your love to a motherfucker and they run you dry. You fuck around, give somebody everything they desire and they cross you up for a motherfucker that want to take everything away. Maybe that was part of my fairy tale, thinking that, you know, America is the land of the second chances. Like, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't have to be this shit all my life. If I'm worthy, if I put the work in, if I make sacrifices, if I'm dedicated, this shit gonna fuck around work out. Some of you are like, I just got to believe in God. I think highly religious countries are behind. You know how crazy you got to be in 2023 to just be like, fuck it. When I die, I'm going to get some good shit. I don't want to. I'm not good, nigga. Don't tell me that because I'm going to tell you to eat a dick. Don't tell me, yo, boo. You might have never had a chance in life, my guy. But don't you worry, because, uh... <laughs> when you die, you're going to go to heaven and get that shit. What? I want my shit now, bitches. Now, now, get my shit now. I ain't trusting nobody. <coughs> Fuck that shit. <coughs> <coughs> you 
Nigga been believing and getting let down by humans all your motherfucking life. They been lying all through these motherfucking books and texts and all that shit, nigga. What the fuck? I'm not... Why you suck a dick, nigga? Hey, God. Yo, make your God. I'm about to do the right thing. What you need me to do? Okay, I'm going to do all that shit. Make it fair. And say God was like to boo. Well, just because you follow the rules, why would I need to make it fair for you? The reason I'm asking you, God, to make it fair for me is because it's niggas down here that's wildin'. That's happy as fuck and having the time of their life. Hey, they ain't gonna be able to get in heaven. Nigga, that sound like game. Not because you saying that a rich man, it's gonna be harder for a rich man to get into heaven than it is for a camel to get through the eye of a needle or sewing needle. That sound like game, God. Boo, you stupid as fuck. This is what God could be saying to Boo. Boo, you stupid as fuck. Why the fuck do that sound like game? And I'll probably say back to God, well, God. Because if I was rich, I would like nothing other than to get a nigga afraid to rob me or come at me because he think he going to burn in hell or he, he ain't going to be able to get in heaven. And then hopefully God is intelligent enough to be like, yeah, that makes sense. Because we know how the world works. I don't think I'm going to be playing no new games right now, Alaska. Definitely not. <laughs> I'm talking about real shit right now, gang, you heard? So, um, and that's crazy because it's like, I see my chat box ain't even working, but we've been through a lot today, which is crazy as fuck. Stream off and on. But that's a part of the like Christian way, right? Repent. It's the American way. We live in a land of the second chances and opportunities. Anything is possible. A lot of people bounce back, right? But, uh, I wouldn't tell you to bank on it. Ain't much you can bank on, nigga. The banks could fail. You could get scammed the fuck up in America. You know that, right? The powers that be could know you got a road deal and got scammed up. What that mean? That that mean they going No, 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 nigga. What? Shut your low budget ass up and sit down and just take whatever the fuck you get. And remember, don't you think about stealing, resisting, killing, making it fair, making it make sense. Because all that shit could get you sent to hell. What? What? Wait a minute. So what I'm supposed to do? Say it ain't fair and I want to rebel and lose my motherfucking mind out here. I can go to hell for that? Yeah. So what I'm supposed to do? Shut the fuck up and wait till you die. Because when you get to heaven, you don't get all that shit you wanted anyway, nigga. And that ain't just in America, though. In a lot of places, that's the fuck they... Hey, take this suicide vest, put this on... Run over there, blow yourself up, and you're going to get a bunch of per... And you're going to get... I said, I'm about to say perverse. Virgins. I think that's a pervert thought. No disrespect to nobody that's Muslim, Islamic, whatever. But I... It's too much shit out here about pussy. I'd rather a motherfucker blow some shit up off the strength of niggas ain't being right. Niggas ain't fair. 
Because not a weak man knocked a fan out just because he could. And the nigga was vulnerable and no danger. So I can take advantage of you. I can bully you. You're vulnerable. I'm not in danger. Let me just get my shit off because I might be drunk or frustrated or miserable or not happy. I felt like that's what happened with the Nardo Wig shit. I feel like that's what happened with a lot of shit. Just humans being humans. And a lot of fucking Americans is caught up on being American and it's like, if you die unhappy, what the fuck is the difference? It's all fucking ugly and disgusting. Stupid motherfuckers. Ain't no motherfucking heart out here no more. Whole fucking world done then they got corny. Dumb shit. Niggas be supporter haters. You know the supporter haters? I'm for you selfish niggas. You know the all for you selfish motherfuckers? You know the parent, unparent niggas? Love you, don't love you niggas? Got your back, stab you in the back motherfuckers? Close to God, pedophile motherfuckers? Politician, lie to you motherfuckers. Your girl ain't your girl. Your nigga ain't your nigga. Your hair ain't your fucking hair. The truth is the fucking lie, motherfucking humans. Motherfuckers. They always want to cheat you when they can't beat you. Fuckheads. This... It's Midnight Madness Rents. You got to get with the program. Ain't no other shit. I could tell not Americans but humans how to have value. Everybody has a fucking position. <laughs> fucking goofball. If you want value, create value. <laughs> Fucking goofball. Guess what you can't do? You can't create value with words and not actions. You can be a hater with words. You only can be a lover with actions. You can be a dirtbag with your words. You only can have good character with your actions you can't be shit with your words <laughs> but there is a difference between me and you or hopefully you and them Hopefully you on the boo and nine side, right? But a lot of people ain't, obviously. 
hopefully you're on the side of shit that makes sense. So you don't do a bunch of shit that don't make sense. Because the fucked up part is that, right? Y'all should watch some of the interrogations with like the police and murderers and people that do dumb shit where all that goofball shit in your mind. I'm trying to get attention. I'm going to be destructive. I'm going to be different. All that shit that you tell you, none of that shit count. When the consequences and repercussions right there, when a nigga thinking logically, that's your fucking ass. You know what I realize every time somebody ever tried to troll me? That a person in happiness and success is not going to do that. You can go as hard as you want. That's why I'm the troll master. I want every time. Because that would never be your angle. That might be your angle with a motherfucker that you're supposed to take it with. Your real enemy. But when you just random with it, oh, your life fucked up. You ain't happy, gang. You could just be honest. Honesty lead to a lot of good shit. I hate the poor people that pretend they rich. I hate the non-violent people that pretend they violent. I hate pretenders. I hate the politicians that pretend they give a fuck about you. I hate the people that come on my stream and pretend they fuck with me. For what? Get the fuck out of here. We don't need you. 